Hi folks, I've got a really interesting uh, demo um, to, to show you how um, shared object injection or the equivalent to DLL injection works on Linux. So um, what we're going to look at is how you can inject malicious code into a uh, basically any program using the um, environment, var environment variable that allows you to tell it which um, uh, what shared libraries to load into a program. So I've just written a really simple example. Uh, and in fact, I'll just print it to the screen. Um, <laughs> um, the, this source code for um, comparing strings. So basically, um, it includes some standard libraries. Um, and then has an input variable with 20 characters long, asks them for a password, reads that in to the variable, uh, and then it uses um, if the string comparison with the input password equals the word password, then it is correct. And we say, well done. Otherwise, we say, nope, uh, that's incorrect. And feeds it back to them. So we can have a look at what that looks like. So if we put the password in here as hello, it says nope, hello is incorrect. But if we put in password, it tells us it's correct. So that's pretty pretty straightforward. And looking at the code, there's like there's nothing wrong with the source code for that program. Um, but if we're in control of the environment, we can change the way it behaves. Um, so if we you look at LDD. Um, compare strings, we can see that this, um, by default, it reads in some um, some standard libraries, including the standard li um, C library. So if we, but if we um, want to, uh, and actually if we do L trace, uh, we can have a look at the library calls that it makes. So users um, put S to um, to write to the screen. Now it's using scanf to read something in, and then it does a string comparison. So these are these are all library calls to external libraries. Okay, so we can see here it's doing a string comparison. So we can actually write a um, a function that overrides the behavior of string comparison. So if we have a look at um, this which I've just prepared a, uh, a minute ago. Um, we'll do everything equals. <clears throat> this very simple piece of code just says, defines a function called string comparison, string compare. Um, it takes two strings in and it returns zero no matter what, which is uh, means that it equals. So to get our um, program, to read this malicious um, function override instead, uh, we all we need to do is do ld preload um, equals, and it needs to be um, an absolute path name. So do a print working directory. Um, loads this shared object, um, which I've already compiled, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, and now, when it asks us for a password, we can type whatever we want, and it will tell us, uh, and it will basically tell the program when it calls that external library that, yep, that matches. Um, so. If you have a look at now at LDD, you can see um, <laughs> uh, 
Um, it, well, funnily enough, it breaks LDD because LDD uses a string comparison within itself. So um, the, this this has a, an interesting side effect in that it um, is changing the behaviour of uh, LDD. So um, I'll show. Let's use a different one. So if we tell it to use um, this shared, our own shared library, um, it will uh, basically load that in to the um, to the program, and now it's going to get the um, that string comparison function from our own library. This pass equals one is another one that I've just created, and it's a really nice example. because uh, what it does is it says if the first character of the string is a star of either of the strings then it says that it equals otherwise it does this is the I've just copied and pasted the original code that string comparison uses so it works normally unless we use a star um, so I'll show you how you compile it I'll just go back to where I've um, actually compiled um here you could basically it's just gcc tell it you're creating a shared library uh for and we can compile that and now when we run the um the program if we use the um, ld preload now we can you know it works normally So that's what we'd expect. But also, if you just start anything with a star, it will count as a as a correct one. So, you know, you can imagine the the kind of ways that you can get software that's being compiled to work in ways that the author does not expect because you're overriding the behavior of shared libraries. And so malware can basically get onto your system as a shared library, either by replacing the shared libraries that you already have. Um, or by um, modifying the, the environment, variable for, environment variable for LD preload, which you can do um, a number of different ways. So it might be in the launcher for a specific program, it can be modified there. Or if you put it in some in a place where, uh, like, uh, like the dot .profile or dot .bash .rc in the home, user's home directory, then that will be set for like every program that runs. Um, and so, yeah, you can modify the behavior of um, software, and it's a common um, kind of attack technique that's used on um, Linux like this, and similar issues on Windows with DLL injection, um, where you can, there are various places where DLLs are loaded from, um, and also um, you can inject into a running process, which is very similar um, end result.